yellow. It is no makeup Mondays apparently and I look like a damn disaster. Girl, even my hair looks like grass. Like this looks like a field of damn corn. Urban Decay is coming out with a new foundation. Honestly, I used to use the Naked Skin Foundation and I used to, mm, it's not that I hated it, but it's not that I loved it. I was kind of like, okay, I mean, I could probably find something more affordable for like the same effect. The Naked Skin Foundation was a really good foundation for the everyday use because it was water-based, right? So it didn't give you that full coverage effect, but it gave you that kind of like natural, this is like my skin, but better. However, Urban Decay is expanding their Naked line. And by that, I mean they are adding another product to the Naked idea, the Naked scheme of things. <laughs> naked, I feel like I'm talking about nudes. Urban Decay is finally coming out with a cushion foundation. Cushion foundations have been kind of like a hot topic for a little bit because I know a couple drugstore brands have released some and people have loved it, people have not. It was kind of like a controversial kind of idea. Okay girl, so I am on Trend Mood's Instagram page. I'm about to look at the picture. I did see it really briefly this morning. I kind of like just read like the caption of the picture that Trend Mood had posted and I was like, oh my god, don't look George girl. Like we got to react to this on camera. We want to make sure that this is like a first impressions kind of thing. I have the picture in front of me. I'm about to kind of look at it for the first time and observe it into full on detail. So, oh my God, this is actually really cool. The packaging is very holographic. I will insert pictures throughout this video so that you guys can kind of like watch with me a little bit. I like this packaging. The compartment is very holographic. It kind of looks like, you know, when you like tilt something and like the colors change, it looks like it's going to have that effect. And the Urban Decay stamp is like literally right there in your face, obnoxious. I love this. Oh wow, this is actually like, I'm actually amazed for Urban Decay. One of the, once again, one of the brands that I never really reach out to or care to like look at or research, do my research about, really did something well here. Like they made, first off, I'm basing this off of the packaging right now. I really like how this looks. Like imagine like this like holographic feel, like sitting on your countertop girl like it just looks so like colorful it's not boring it makes you look like you have a little more like of an exciting life maybe if you don't let me get on to what trend mood had posted in the caption about the claims looks like urban decay is extending their naked line and bringing us a new cushion foundation naked skin glow it's weightless it's buildable coverage with a comfortable matte luminous finish plus this will keep your skin hydrated for 18 hours and it has spf 50 in it and this will be available in six shades. I don't know how I feel about these claims because of certain reasons. Let me start from the top. It says this cushion foundation from Urban Decay will provide you with a matte luminous finish. That makes absolutely no sense to me, girl. Like, what do you mean it'll be matte but luminous? Like, a matte luminous? There is, girl, you're either matte as a wall or you're shiny and dewy or luminous as a crystal. <laughs> The other thing that is kind of like, I see a problem is the fact that Urban Decay is only providing us with six shades. That could be the case because they're only starting with six shades and if they see that the, the product is doing really well, people are going to grab for it and they're gonna need it, they're gonna expand the line. Or I mean like the shade range. I don't think six is a lot. Keep in mind that there are many skin tones out there, girl. Not six, more than six. This product will be available September 14th at Sephora. Singapore will launch, oh, Singapore will launch their first, and then we'll update about the US. So this isn't technically coming to North America, not anytime soon, but it is going to be launching on the other side of the world, for, like from where I am. So I actually won't get to play with this in person, like at stores, up until it's being released, maybe end of September, probably beginning of October. So now it comes down to it. Will I be purchasing the Urban Decay cushion foundation. I'm a little iffy with this one. I don't know if I want it or if I don't. Once again, for people who have been maybe watching my videos, if girl, you've been watching me, I'm not that relevant, but I don't like to reach out for a like full coverage foundation. I like them to be very water-based for the fact that that provides you with a more natural finish. You could obviously build it up to whatever kind of coverage you want, but I like to start with a very like, my skin but better. I suppose I like it like that, just because I don't have the best skin, so I feel like full coverage would accentuate, personally, my texture, my imperfections. So this is claiming it's going to be a buildable matte, comfortable, a buildable comfortable matte to luminous finish. You know what, to be honest, I don't think I'm gonna purchase this. I never really liked the idea of a cushion foundation. I do think it's very innovative. I think it's never been done before. And whoever, whatever brand had started it, good for you because 
it is something different. It is going to change the makeup game. So girl, no, Urban Decay, I will not be purchasing your Christian foundation. I do think it's cool. I think it's like awesome that you're jumping onto the train of Christian foundations because it is a very innovative idea. Do I need it? Is it an, like a necessity? No. I think it'd be cool to like play around with because then you could like see this whole matte luminous finish that it's claiming it's going to have. The price was not revealed. I'm assuming it's going to be probably 40 to 50 bucks. Once again, we are talking Urban Decay, a brand that is sold at Sephora. Most foundations you won't see under 50 bucks there. So honestly, I won't be surprised if it does range between that 40, 50 dollar idea. That's expensive to me for a Christian foundation. Anyways, girl, that's all I have to say. I know I keep rambling and I keep talking and y'all are just like, get to the point, George. Like, do you want it or do you not? So if anybody's watching me, if anybody's ever watching me, I always say that because I don't know. I feel lonely sometimes. I will talk to y'all in the next video. TTYLs.